Hey guys, how's it going? It is the long-awaited setup video. It is finally here. Uh, if you want to check out any of these items, just make sure to go to the description, look for the website kit, and I'll have everything I have listed here uh, on my kit all to date. So just check that out. Um, just want to say thank you to the following companies for providing uh, free products. So any of the products under these brands will be free. The Uplift Desk, the AK Racing Chair, any of the Elgato products, Blue Microphone products, Logitech products, Jaybird products, uh, Ultimate Ears products, and the E4K that I'm shooting this video on, so thank you. And thank you very much to Brassy for the gaming PC. When I first started out streaming, he donated me a PC so I could properly stream, so big thank you to you as well. Uh, but I guess we'll just get started. So just kind of like a bigger view of the desk. Uh, the room I stream in is like an extra bedroom. Uh, I have another bedroom upstairs that I actually like sleep in. So I don't sleep down here. Um, but the main thing that holds this all together is my favorite part, the uplift desk. Uh, I honestly would be getting this desk regardless if uh, they provided one or not. I absolutely love it electronically. It was up and down. It's an 80 inch by 30 inch model. And a very nice, like minimalistic desk. Um, just, just an awesome, honestly, overall desk. And I'm here every single day for like you know 12 hours, so it, it's obviously nice to have a, a nice desk. So, I um, guess we'll go over like the chair next, probably. So, I have an AK Racing chair, Onyx. It's a pretty more like minimalistic chair, metal frame, leather. The uh, armrest and everything like that go all the way up and down, leans all the way back, forward, backrest. So, just a really, 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 really nice chair. It's super comfortable to sit in all day. Um, I guess we'll go on top of the desk. Uh, I have a stream deck right here which is really, really, really nice. It is a good tool if you stream, um, because, oh, well, you can see this, but it's a good tool if you stream because you can change, like, follower mode, sub mode, 10 second, slow mode, mute your mic, sound, and like that, switch scenes, clips, stuff from your stream, all my social media spam and stuff like that for Twitch, end screens, uh, alphabet not party, you know, all that kind of stuff is all there. So yeah, uh, I actually didn't think I was going to need an Elgato Stream Deck originally, but um, they sent me one, and it's, honestly, I don't think I can live without it anymore now that I use it every day. Uh, so I guess we'll just start off with, I guess, the streaming PC's peripherals, which is a G Pro keyboard, a G Nano 3 mouse, and a PowerPlay mouse pad, uh, AOC monitor, uh, it's a cheap 1080p monitor, um... Right here for the gaming PC, there is the uh, G810 Orion keyboard, a G703 mouse with an uh, XL Logitech mouse pad, um, AT20 USB mic for the gaming PC. On the streaming PC, I have the blue microphone, uh, baby bottle SL, the pop filter, shock mount, blue icicle, compass arm, all down there. So everything gets transferred through USB, so I don't have a mixer or anything like that. I have two separate mics. Uh, Asus 144 uh, monitor for my gaming monitor, Logitech Brio 4K webcam, uh, just a 1080p monitor for the second monitor. So the two monitors on the left are on the gaming PC, monitor on the right is for the streaming PC. There's a, I don't know if you can see that, but that's for all the controls, all the sound for my speaker system. It's a Logitech uh, Z906, you can see the boxes there in the corner. Uh, that's all the speakers back there. And underneath, over here is the sub. I don't know how good you can see that. Um, what else is on the desk over here? Mouse bungee. I used to use that when I had a wireless mouse. But honestly, the Logitech wireless stuff is the same. I noticed no difference between the wired and the wireless versions of the mice because I have both versions. Um, my phone. I have a Pixel 2 XL with a spy gene case and a pop socket on the back, keys and wallet. Um, the only stuff that I actually have upstairs normally that's down here so the only thing I have upstairs in my bedroom is just clothes, that's really it, and like, you know, stuff in the bathroom, like toothbrush and all that. Uh, the Kindle Fire, 8 inch, uh, uh, and I use this for like Netflix, Twitch and stuff before I go to bed. It's pretty nice, has a long battery life, I don't have a TV or anything like that. Uh, Jaybird, wireless earbuds, these are provided by Jaybird, Ultimate Ears uh, wireless speaker, so I use these for the gym. And then this is just for music, like at night or something, or from like watching a show, so there's a little bit better sound. Speakers, these are my old speakers. I gotta hook these up on uh, the streaming PC. A 
newer lighting kit, which is right there. You can see that okay. So I have two lights and an Elgato green screen that collapses up and down. This thing is fantastic. Like I've I had a separate green screen before that was really, really like bad, honestly, and it was kind of expensive. This one, these are a little bit pricey too, but they're much nicer. I was able to turn down my chroma key, it makes all the colors on my webcam look way, way, way better. Um, over here we got the katana in the corner, which I then made a giant chip in the wall. I have Comcast internet, unfortunately. It's hardwired in the wall. 1,000 down, 50 up. Two lines directly wired. I had an electrician come. So this way I'm wired right into the router. No questions of like bad connection there or anything like that. Um, Blue Sadie headphones. I really just use these for like music. That's kind of it. Uh, my six invitational trophy, which is one of my most important possessions. It was the, it's the biggest tournament that Rainbow Six Siege has, and my team won that tournament. I have the jerseys and stuff. I'll talk about that a little more. Twitch hat, earbuds down there. I don't know how you can see that, but yeah, so that's about it. I have a little side table right here. I always have a glass of water there and vitamin D because I never go outside. It's basically like, you know, sunlight, I guess. Uh, PCs, this is the streaming PC. It has a... Uh, 980 T, this used to be actually my old gaming PC, I um, probably cannot see this very well, but it has a Corsair case, 980 Ti, 4790 k 16 gigs of RAM, water cooling on the CPU, uh, and, and Elgato HD60 Pro, that's how I get the video and audio from my gaming PC to my streaming PC, I just use all the Elgato software, the sound capture software, wake this computer up, so yeah, the monitor goes off after a little bit. So, it's back on now. Uh, and then down here is my main gaming PC, which once again, Brassy, thank you very much if you're watching. It uh, has a 7700K in it, a 1080, 32 gigs of RAM, water cold, uh, NZXT case, 850 watt Corsair titanium power supply. And I have like extra USB cable hanging out there for charging my phone or whatever. Um, over here is all P.O. Box stuff and all these stuff for the Yee boxes because I'm recording on the Yee right now with a gimbal. Uh, so this is the alien outfit that Evan sent me. Wires, the katana I used to, the katana, the karambit I used to just open up like boxes, just some old stuff. The Polar Boys sent me the, uh, sent me the mouse pad, Pepe, Pepe mouse pad. Um, Australian flag from Sea Bears, the core cat from Sea Bears. <coughs> Sea Bears, I think Garfield sent me this a long time ago. This is from Mavis Newbie. It's a bullet, 50 cal bullet with a bottle opener built into it. SDK Rowdy for the Rainbow Six. I gotta hang this up somewhere. My 100K YouTube plaque. Uh, I really primarily do Twitch, but uh, it was really cool that they sent me that for hitting 100K subs on uh, YouTube. So thank you. Um, this was the box that the 50 cal bullet came in, and it also came with two engraved beer glasses. So thank you very much, Mavis Newbie. Uh, down here, just some extra stuff from Logitech that they sent me. Uh, G, it's just some extra mice, headset, keyboard. Uh, so it's good to have backups of those, I guess. Thank you, Logitech. Uh, mostly older stuff here, old keyboard, Corsair K70, my old phone that broke. My wiring, this box, the brown box has all the wiring, and the bottom box has the mixer uh, for when I was trying to use a mixer instead of all digital sound transfer. Uh, PUBG backpack, just stuff from events. Cooler Master keyboard from uh, promotion I did for them. Um, just wires, Xbox controllers, stuff like that for fighting games. Stuff to clean up, like monitor cleaning stuff. Adam's Elo, my old green is my my old green screens over here. Adam's Elo is actually a green screen from my uncle that was too big. Um, just all empty boxes, a couple old things like the pop filter that's over there doesn't fit on my mic anymore. Um, I have really, really old webcam, if you guys remember the first few days that it was streaming. Uh, mouse pads, extra mouse pads are always good to have. Um, my camera box, which is, oh, my camera is actually down here. Oh, it's just a bag. It's a Canon uh, EOS 60D. It's a pretty nice camera. Um, the video on it <coughs> is not very stable because it doesn't have any stabilization, but it takes great pictures. I've had a uh, camera for a really long time, so... So I have the banana outfit right there, TwitchCon, uh, fanny pack and shirt, 
Uh, obviously, all these are free. Discord partner, six invitational hoodie, Twitch hoodies, into the AM hoodies, uh, Streamlabs. So this is what the donation and subbing system, notification system I use for Twitch. Rogue hoodie, uh, a bunch of games, Lawbreakers, into the AM, Mario Rabbids, Blue Microphones, For Honor, more Lawbreaker stuff, PUBG. Uh, Yi, the camera I'm recording on, and these are the are really important to me. So these are all the jerseys and stuff I have from different events. Uh, here's the first professional esports jersey I ever had. This is from year one, season two, where we went to the finals in England, and we placed third place worldwide on the flip side. Uh, they didn't have time to put our names on the jerseys, so afterwards they sent me two more, which are right there. And then obviously my favorite and most important jersey. Continuum jersey, here's my pass, player pass from the Invitational. This is the event from that trophy that I won. Uh, Continuum jersey, this was the actual jersey that I wore. They couldn't get my name on it again in time. Once again, you'll know this is a common theme. Um, and then they eventually sent me one with my name on it, so that's an extra one. Uh, vertical gaming jersey, this is from year two, season one, in Poland, in Katowice. Uh, <clears throat> ESL player badge from Gamescom. And this is when we got picked up by Rogue, so no name on the jersey again, because I couldn't get it in time. Uh, just the King George's they sent me afterwards. Badges from different events. That fanny pack has a bunch of badges and stuff in it, too. Um, so, yeah, I think I think that's pretty much it. I don't know if there's anything else. It's mostly just paperwork and stuff. Um, and that, I think that's pretty much it, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was... A lot of people are requesting this video quite a bit, so um, I hope you guys like it. Uh, if you like, I said all the stuff's in the description. All my like, I mostly stream on Twitch. I do YouTube every day too, like uploads from my Twitch stream. It was actually surprising to me how many people thought I only did YouTube, uh, but yeah, I primarily stream on Twitch, uh, and almost all my uploads are from my uh, from my Twitch stream to YouTube. So yeah, that that'll be in the description. I live stream every day. All my other social media, the links to everything is will be on the kit website. I'll have that all up to date. And, uh, yeah, just thank you guys very much, as always, for supporting me and stuff like that. And I will uh, see you guys in the next video.